Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Shah Bhutti, and in previous lectures, we have been talking about how we can use CSS to create websites. Today, basically, we will see how you can download, use some templates from internet that already are created for you, and it requires just few basic tweaks and editing. So, if you are here for the first time, kindly don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you receive these cool tutorials as we go along. So, let's begin. Um, now, the first thing is finding these tutorials. So the best thing we can do is go on to the Google and try to search, for example, uh, free website templates download. You know, this is, these are some queries that we write. We use free words because there are also paid versions of that websites or tutorials as well. So um, you can see this once you do or search for free website templates, you would perform, you will be uh, presented with many, many, many queries. So all these different websites host uh, hundreds of free websites uh, templates which are absolutely cool so for example one is free dot uh, free slash uh, slash css blah, blah, blah. free slash css dot com what this website hosts again it has lots of very cool templates that you can download if you come here for os dash templates again you can see all these templates and they they provide you some additional information right there and there which is basically that these are CSS, HTML5 slash responsive websites so uh, and you can see this these are all cool templates now the good thing is they are already designed the basic layout, the structuring, the component, the CSS, everything for this website has been done. All it requires is you to download these templates, edit and put your content in. Okay, It doesn't require you to create an entire website from scratch. And there are hundreds of such kind of free templates available that you can use. So all these websites have huge information. Now this is extremely useful when, when you require uh, to create quick websites, quick uh, products for your customers you know which can be anybody you know from some people some persons to a firm organization a shop they require websites nowadays so uh, you can do is you can create from from scratch if they have a very unique design or if they leave it to you then basically what you do is you you use some of these cool templates you download them and then you basically edit them how we do that so for example if you come on a particular website again these are all different cool websites that have lots of very nice information available for us so, for example, if I come here, uh, there is this, these different websites and templates available. So, if you want to work on any particular template, all you need to do is go on to download. And you can download that template, save it on a particular location that you want to work with. So, for example, if I come here, if I want to work with such these templates, okay, uh, maybe this one I like. So, if I click on this one, gives me uh, two options view the template license information website demo so you can see this entire website before you download it so if i click here this is again some websites do provide that which is very good so here it is entire website uh, already designed for us okay so it will have this basic tag a background image a drop down gallery links and then there's a few pages few quick information and then card style uh, data available for us okay so I, I like this template i said i want to download it so i go back into here and let me just click on close, sorry, and hit on download template. Okay, once you do that, again, it will ask me where you want to save it. I save it in the same location. Now I have two different templates downloaded. Similarly, any template you can download that you feel is more comfortable. So if I open this, uh, hang on, sorry, always open files of this type. No, sorry, show in folder. So if I go into one of these folders, just extract these things. For example, this one is again another one. So if I extract it into a folder, now I have these templates available. So I double click on them, go inside in these folders. So once you go inside it, you would find there are few HTML files, a basic PSD for I think the backdrop or the image that you have available. They tend to provide that. So you just edit that PSD and save it as your image and it should automatically be there. So this is something cool. But as we know, every website has to have an index.html. So this is our starting page. So if I double click on it, here we go. So this was my website template available for me. It has a company logo, few basic links, the image, uh, the main image or uh, thumbnail image, you know, uh, and then I have small basic tags and styles. Obviously, this entire structure is designed for me, containing these four, five, six pages. So now if I go back into my website, you can see I have these four, five pages. If I go into CSS, I have a CSS available. If I go back into my images, all the images used within this particular uh, website are basically available. Obviously, we can change all over the image, whatever we want. So what do we do now is we basically start to change the content. So if I right click, go into and open this website with, for example, my brackets. And 
then I can start editing this website content and I can start working with it. Similarly, if I go let when well, the bracket opens, I don't know why it's taking so long. Ah, here it is. Okay. So if you go back into this templates folder, wait, 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 wait. If I go back into this was another template that we downloaded. It only contains one index file. So this is basically a single page structure that contains entire website basic content on a single page. You can use that sometimes uh, certain basic simple websites uh, are used in this way. For example, an event based website that doesn't require many links. So you can have that on one page or again, the basic idea is template. So you have a template. Now you can save as and create the remaining pages as you go. So this is the first basic template. Again, we have an image. We have a backdrop image that we want to put an image on. Uh, we have some basic links available. Again, a card based structure and the image follows as it goes along. So uh, this is again a nice cool template that you can use and simply by editing this HTML file. If I go into images, these are image files available within this. And if I go into layout, I have this uh, styles CSS is available for me here. Okay, I can use that. And well, I'm going to back pages. So the remaining pages are basically put inside another pages folder. So this is another template that is available. Explore the files before you start editing them. Okay, to get to understand that how the structure has been saved and what you're doing. So in this case, for example, this folder or this template has been organized with just an index file in the root folder. Then the pages are inside here. The layout CSS is still here and images here. So if I go into layout, I will find the basic styles and script Java JS scripts that have been used within this code. So um, just exploring this will give me a better idea what I'm supposed to do. Similarly, if I go back into this folder, I have another pre-downloaded template, which is called law firm. If I open it again, this is another template that has been down, uh, downloaded. Again, everything has been designed. Now all we need to do is we need to ensure and just edit these remaining pages. All uh, simple steps that basically requires. So if I even check the link, you would find the links is there. Okay, so the remaining pages are very simple with a different structure while the practices. It can have a gallery view, it can go into lawyer's view. So you can see this every page has its own unique style. They can create very nice images. Now, what do you require? You require to edit it. So what we do is we go into these things. We edit this. So for example, we edited, um, I believe, hairstyle saloon. Okay, so we write, opened it inside my brackets and finally the brackets is available here. So this is my basic website, uh, entire HTML code. All I need to do is now go into the, for example, starting with title. This can be my um, Hunza, the uh, T-O-U-R-I-S-T, tourist website. Now, if you were following my previous task, web, web, uh, if you have been following my tutorials, you know I was working on this website. So uh, let's just use that. And I have a Honza website available. Okay. Now, uh, this is the main index page. So I can name them as home. The next index page, I think this is also home. So I home again, remembering this is referring to index.html page. I don't know. This has something linked with it. So I gave these to him. This is about. So for example, instead of about, I can give uh, places, PLACS places. And I can create a page called PLACS places.html. Similarly, hairstyles, I remove this hairstyle, then I can name, for example, R-E-S-T-A-U-R-A restaurants. And the file with her hairstyles can be R-E-S-T-A-U-R-A and C-S restaurants. Now, let's just rename these files as we go along. So, hairstyles is supposed to be uh, R-E-S-T-A-U-R-A and C-S restaurants. And about was uh, supposed to be places. So, P-L-A-C-S places, okay? So, now I have the player files already available for me. Uh, remember, we like to name them in a small letter. So, this is one. Uh, news.html can be, for example, hotels, H O T E L hotels, and H O T E L S hotels. Okay, so I go back into news and I rename this as H O T E L S hotels. Okay, so I have my basic websites available contact information, how to get there, key places, whatever uh, you know, information you want to put it there, let that be here. So, for example, transport arrangement. Uh, sorry, this, let me just name this small. Transport. So instead of contact us, I can say transport or location or how to get there or whatever pages you have, you name them for that particular sake. So I go back into my um, this thing, uh, hashtag and contact was supposed to be transport. Okay. So this is what we did. So initially we changed the link so that now my pages would work with the particular links. Then I come back here and obviously the image has a different hairstyle image. So I can change this great JPG into whatever a picture I take of Hunza, resize it and put it here. Great hairstyles from the experts, what I can say, uh, uh, H-U-N-Z-A, Hunza, 
uh, I can name it like this uh, HEA heaven on earth okay and this is my for example logo so best hairstyles uh, place to visit before you die okay and then uh, I can write few things about Hunza hair well as soon as I let me save it uh, open the live view hopefully it should pop up something there we go okay and I have my website available so I have home places restaurants hotels transport now you can see this restaurants was a large size font so it has changed it now i might need to go into css and in increase either the paddings or the width of each of these blocks that i've created and as we go so this is the image hunza heaven on earth that means i need a backdrop with a hunza valley as simple as that i come here this is to be visit before you die so this would basically be linked to places that i visit featured hairstyles again so i can uh, uh, put few more icons here text here and uh, information that would actually represent Hunza. okay so what we do is we come back into our html and then st start changes uh, change a few spots so for example uh, this can be a featured hairstyle can have uh, gilgit alt altit fort baltit fort i think b-l-t-i-t baltit fort and Hunza, and i can write some information about baltit fort i can write uh, for example about uh, altit fort a L T I T Altit Fort and Honza Valley, and I can write some information about Honza of Altit Fort, you know, and then I can take pictures of those and put the pictures here and change these images. So basically, I'm changing the content as we like to go. So not changing the structure, style, not that. Okay, I just start initially changing the content, and wherever there is information, I would change that. So all these images would now be replaced with my own images. Okay, by simply going inside the code making sure that we know that which image we are changing so this link is hairstyle.ahj image we just change this image and we change the link to ensure that it refers to that particular point so for example if i'm referring to this as a altit fort okay so this would be now baltit fort so i will have a picture of a baltit fort this is altit fort this will have a picture of altit fort and all the places that we want people to visit so featured space what is the most featured thing of that particular place i will just change this image and put something on my own side so obviously i can change it this will take a long time uh, but you get the idea okay and in order to change it you go inside this code you change whatever you do but do not change this structure just change the content okay so h2 basically means this is heading to featured so it is talking about this thing so we need to change this content we need to change the paragraphs you need it okay you don't need it you delete it okay so you might not have these three paragraphs you just need two paragraphs just leave it there so similarly you need to change this picture here you come here you find where the picture is residing and you can change that particular point okay? so if i change this you can see uh, we can use the css uh, as well and we can use the html as well to change the content and as we change it we will see the output as we go along similarly for this particular image we have css in our css style so let me open it within the brackets so that once we edit this we can also work with our css okay so this same file has this css if i go into css and explain a few basic things again the font family okay uh, usually we leave this code on this basically is like a disclaimer that this css basically belongs to uh, this particular website it's always recommended that do not temper with the uh, logo or basic uh, the creator's mark in other words or the reference to the original source where you obtained it then we have the basic so if fonts are being set in this thing body tag that sets the initial body with the background margins and headings and then it goes into the headers starts to work with the header uh, attributes uh, header tags logos and how the anchor tags are behaving within each section how the unordered list are behaving so these all tags we have already covered from display float margin overflows paddings you would see that the same concept is being used uh, but applied on different tags as well as we go along so uh, this basically is what uh, it does so every tag you would find has the basic same structure from a background image to display margin and paddings if you go into body uh, a tag hover what should be when the link of what should be the color of an a tag when the hover is occur and so on and so forth so all these concepts are very simple and this is a very long css that has been applied now if we want to create ourselves you know it would take a lot of time but because it's been created i would not even tamper with it i will just leave it as i will just go and change the content so the copyright from the copyright information to whatever information you have you can change it let's go into another website and see its content so if i go back in templates this was one other website what I do is I go and open this within the sublime brackets. Okay, so now this is the brackets available again, document type, template name. So again, this is the like license information, 
um, recommended not to tamper with this leave it as is so once we come here we have a title so we change the title we this is the body tag so again these are like comments just to identify that where the section is ending and starting so this is the body tag we come here div tag just understand what's happening here again these are something that we've already done in previous lectures divs headers divs and tags so here basically it is referring to nickmit so if i turn this thing on and control s uh, I think this is the NICMIT text basically appearing. So this is the NICMIT. So if you want to change it, for example, uh, tourist places in Hunza. Uh, okay, hang on. Sorry, what I did. And H U N Z A Hunza. Control S. So tourist places in Hunza. You can search for various different places in that particular order if you are using that thing. Okay. So this is basically how it works. Obviously, these websites are responsive, so they are behaving in a responsive manner. As soon as menu done, now you can see this. The here actually the menu has changed into a drop down list. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. Again, this is one thing that we can do. And if uh, we scroll it, see this the entire website is basically a very nicely responsively behaving. So we recommend it do not change the CSS because the CSS control contain, controls the entire layout until unless you know what you're doing and maybe you don't need three structures, you need two structures or you're just changing the size of these each of these cards or background image or foreground image colors if you are using for example you want to change that then you may go into the CSS and change it otherwise just find the content that you are going to change and change that sometimes we just search it for example these are the links to gallery full width sidebar blah 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 thing so you can see this these are already inside these particular links so under side pages we have this information available I need to change these links I will change it I don't need any links I control X I just leave it to three I don't need remembering so you see only three are appearing so it's just simply understanding the code that we have already done and that code is already here going through that code like one by one and changing the content wherever you need it so drop down menu drop down menus here if you need it fantastic if you don't need it just delete it for example you don't need level to just work with these an order list and delete those particular level you get the content so this is how basically we tend to use it uh, images wherever we need to change image we know we have to search for an image tag so we go inside the code we go by one by one and start changing the content we find the image tag wherever we need to change it we change it that but again remember do not change the layout structural code of that particular CSS uh, so that the content layout remains the same especially do not change the CSS as well okay hopefully that makes easily understandable what basically we are trying to do is still if you are having a problem how we use these templates to leave leave the feedbacks down below i will try to explain it in more um, easier way with a more detailed demonstration and hopefully it should be um, clear right now okay thank you very much for watching see you around